ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, moms and dads, it's magic time. I played some games today outside of the context of recording for the channel, and boy did I do horrible. So this will be exciting. <clears throat> Peacekeepers is the deck of choice. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed because, um, well, there's no need to get into it in detail, but I just feel like I followed the pattern of, wow, this is not a good hand. One land. This has been my curse all evening. I've played probably five or six magic games before this. These bad hands, these one land hands that just, it's untenable. I have a one drop. I have some stuff that can go pretty cheap. You cannot keep a one land hand, especially on the play. You just can't do it. And this hand is going to get me massacred. Well, we'll try it anyway. Hi oh. Let's see what our opponent's got for us. Let's see what he's got for us. Let's see what kind of deck he's rolling over there. <laughs> Black. Uh, maybe he's running Exalted. Who knows? Could be. Could be one of those two piles. Didn't really want to draw a card named Planes, but all right. Whatever. Um... I think we'll use a raise the alarm on this. Well, that pretty much kills our illusions of it being exalted. Looks very much like mono black to me. Which has some mass removal. That's unfortunate. Infest or mutilate is going to be a real problem for us. At least for right now. Um... But we can swing in there and then drop a squawk. Thin our deck by two cards. Let's just pull these delicious 1-1 one -one flyers into hand. Oh, God, where is he? Page through him the first time. Anyway, uh, so refill our hand with some threats. We'll slow roll him from here, though, because, yeah, because he is going to make us... Sack a guy. He's got to have more removal in there. Huh? Okay. That guy's... That guy's irritating. Wow, the quarter paladin, too. It's pretty beefy. Um, let's get in there for one. And let's threaten him with this Paladin, because, you know, if he doesn't have a blocker on his next turn, he's going to suffer mightily for it. I didn't play another guy because I'm still very concerned and infest or, you know, and, and infest will wipe his single guy out, but could kill three of mine more if I laid another dude. And we're likely to draw a removal. We have a good chance of pulling a Journey to Nowhere, Oblivion Ring... <laughs> Goodbye, planes. Didn't love you anyway. Hodrick, who is just a monster. Um, for now, though, let's try to get in there. I assume he's going to trade with the Accorder Paladin. Yeah, it's probably the smart play. I mean, why let me battle cry? when you don't have to. Um, obviously, we hold this guy back. But let's get a little more damage on the field. 2-2 um, unblockable. Just, you know, I'm at 18. We have a 5 life swing over him. He's going to have to lay a much more powerful creature before we are really concerned about Black's creatures. I feel like it's likely to happen this turn. <laughs> Okay, so he's got nothing. That's intriguing. Uh, whereas we have just gained passivism. Uh, just a brutally powerful card. When we're rolling into him for four damage a, a turn. With Audric, we can really turn the odds. He's 3-4. He's first strike. He is going to be targeted by removal immediately. Um... 
which is fine. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> There's that murder. <laughs> uh, he's just wait, just dying for me to play a big creature. He's waiting there in the wings, like ah. So we basically have to hope that his big play here is not. Oh, he's not enough for a reaver demon. Massacre worm, just as bad. There goes six life. There goes my side. This is exactly why we held back. Um, I'm playing dudes. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we just don't have that much choice. We have to. We basically have to lay this guy. Who needs to be on the table now that our opponent has raised the stakes? Uh, we do have to pass by Masker Worm because I can't afford to wait around. Can't afford to take the hit from him, which would finish us. Um, so we're going to take two from his Warlock. I'm not going to have anything down to compensate. I like just. Ugh. He definitely put us on a clock there that we don't want to be on. We need some hard removal. We need an O-Ring or Journey to Nowhere to even the stakes here. Fiend Hunter? Anything? Sun Titan? No? That's really a, a unfortunate. Um, he's got us on a, a short clock. I just... Okay, here we come, I guess. We don't really have a choice. We gotta lay these guys. Because we have to get them on the same life countdown that we're on. And preferably better. We need some of our own removal to counter Black's removal. Uh, Black's removal is really good. It's very direct. So is mine, and it's yet to make an appearance. Other than the, um, the intrepid hero himself, who, like, I means great and all, but I have no targets. I have nothing to use him on. You know? Audric would have been brilliant, would have really helped me out, and, you know, that plus the massacre worm. Okay, so that's. Actually, he can't get rid of that, so yeah, let's... Oh, that's too damaged, though. It doesn't matter. I can't do anything anyway. But I definitely should have killed that Massacre Worm just to prevent that two damage from hitting me. Because next turn, if he has a removal spell to kill either of these Squadron Hawks, he wins. Um, Dread won't do it on his own. I have to attack. <laughs> oh, God, and that's it. That's all I've got. I can't do anything else. This game is over. I can play this guy. Um, but Dread has fear, so he'll swing in. There's nothing I can do. I can't attack him because these guys will lose two damage, but then they'll both die, and I'll take four. Um, we can't block his dread. There's no way around it. Just fear is uh, insurmountable for this deck. The problem was I should have killed. You know, it wouldn't even mattered. I just I should have drawn a better hand. I guess I don't know. It's all over. We lose. Game over. Congratulations, opponent. You are the best. I am the worst. <laughs>